been I work with Trust since uh, 2016. The reason I became um, passionate about the brand was the first thing was they deliver everything they promise. As a stylist, you guys are used to this. Somebody comes over and say, oh, because this is amazing, and you buy. And you try, and it's like not so amazing. So, and he bought us, right? So when I first tried Trust, and I saw the results, especially because at the very beginning, we had the Fast Repair, we had the Deluxe Prime, and we had the K Recovery. And that was the first thing that I tried, and I saw the results as a benefit to the hair, as bringing health to the hair, because the hair color can look amazing, but if the hair is not healthy, the amazing goes down the drain, right? Fairly brand new uh, brand. It's in the United States for the past uh, about six years. And the reason I think the success that Trust has it is especially because of the results. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, there is not one person who uses and doesn't fall in love with. Right. All right? Um, we are growing. We are in more than 15 countries now. And even th those that are more harsh to get into, like, you know, um, Dubai, um, yeah. Morocco, these countries. So we are getting, like, famous all over the place, which is great, right? Mm -hmm. And working with a brand that it brings, like, so many benefits to us, it makes our life even better. Okay, so let's start with the fast repair. Um, the fast repair, the number oh. two that I told you, uh, okay, so uh, equal portions of these three. Okay. It can be a good yes. okay. deep conditioning. Just don't touch the roots because of the, inf the infusion, yes. Yeah. Okay. okay? So, okay, um, the fast repair is one of the fastest treatment you're gonna have in your salon. Um, every single client on my studio Orlando area. I don't, it's not that I don't upcharge them, it's mm -hmm. included on my price, mm -hmm. but I give them a treatment and they don't even know. The reason for it makes them see the results on the hair and when they see, oh, but my hair this and that, and then I explain to them. Yeah. Because if you try to upsell, they're always going to say, oh, I don't have, I don't have the money, it's too expensive, or whatever else they are going to say. So I start the introduction on the other way. I, I give them practically like including on the price and if they want like just a blow dry with the treatment then I charge them different. Okay. You don't mind me asking how no. much you charge? Um, the, you the company suggests is like starting at $35. Okay. But it all depends on the Absolutely. hair. Absolutely. If there is a person like for example I have a client that she I call her Rapunzel because her hair is up to here <laughs> <laughs> literally. Oh my goodness. Yes it is. Maybe the jar. <laughs> uh huh. And she doesn't do highlights or anything, it's just color, but it takes me like almost three hours to do her hair. Between color. putting the roots, untangling the hair after wash, oh, and I have to put my arms under to lift yes. the hair. Oh my god. So depends on the hair. <laughs> How much product <laughs> you're gonna spend? Thirty five is for a hair like mine, hers. You know, otherwise you have to charge. You can't just, but the good thing is like, when you use this, you spend like about five bucks or less. So it's a very good money. Um, also the company says on um, the flyers that we have about instructions for you guys, when you get this, you pay about $98, give or take. And, um, you can make up to fifteen hundred because it gives you between forty and sixty applications. So let's say fifty times thirty-five, fifteen hundred. Okay, so it's a very good income for you guys to um, to have and to offer your clients. And the three products come in there. Come, yes. Now we have something that it says perfect balayage on the box. Uh, it's a different color. It comes the. Um, metal shampoo to remove the metal of the water and everything else uh, has the um, it's a spray that looks like the deluxe prime but it's not it smells alike but it's not it's a bigger bottle and it comes the step number three from this bottle 
from this package. And so um, Gabriel Samra, Mickey Collum, which was, they are the ambassadors of the line. They are using, and when they do the shampoo, yes, it's an extra step, but you can also charge more. It makes the balayage and the hair lightening different and better because sometimes those metals, when you put the bleach on, doesn't work well for us mm -hmm. as well, okay? So it's very simple to use this one, okay? You're gonna shampoo the hair, you're gonna rinse out. If the hair has highlights, balayage, whatever, you're gonna spray the Deluxe Prime. I spray online even though I don't have those um, all the time. You're gonna put step number two on top of it, emulsify the hair number three on top of everything the only thing you remove so far is the shampoo okay. and after you apply those three you emulsify everything leave it like about four minutes and rinse it out and you're going to see the results immediately it's a 12 minutes treatment in the shampoo bowl all right um has vitamins b1 b1 2 3 um six um c e k and omega 3 and 6 so it really like when you use that, you're going to see the results immediately, and the client is, is going to feel too. How long? How long does it last throughout all their shampoo? It's just like a treatment for a weekly treatment. If they come for a blow dry, or if they come every two weeks, it's something you can. It, it's not something that it's going to last like the infusion or the high lease. No, it's a different. It's just like one of those conditioning treatments for the hair because every time you do a chemical process, the hair needs conditioning. It doesn't matter if it's like highlights, uh, bleaching, or color. Well, I'm just saying if they are a weekly shampoo on their own, if they don't do it the next time, how long can they see the results until they say, oh, I need to get that treatment when, again? When you offer them and they usually get from the salon with you, they're going to see the results less because the hair is going to look different. Like the hair is going to look like shinier and conditioned. Right. Yes, they're, they're going to So it's this. just going to decrease over sh lots of shampoo. Yes, and then they exactly. Get, okay. If they come once a month, yes. By the time they come, it's going to look different. Gone. Yes. Okay. But you can always sell that, sell that this. Okay. Not this, but like the mm -hmm. Deluxe Prime. Okay. Because the Deluxe Prime, like I said, you can use for highlight hair or just color. Okay. Because um, some people that even Rick was with me one time, the lady called... Um, holy water because yeah. <laughs> it's incredible but it is I absolutely love it mm -hmm. do y'all leave it in or rinse it out because I leave either it or okay. it depends on the it. hair mm -hmm. if it's a hair that it's fine I see people using as a live-in mm -hmm. okay but it's spray from afar mm -hmm. because sometimes you know the hair that you're doing and you know how it re respond to any kind of treatment, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you know how you can do or not, right. okay? So I would say, for example, I did my client last week and her hair, for whatever reason, she has thyroids. So it's kind of like a very dry, even though it's always very good. And I don't know what's going on lately. It's stress maybe, whatever. I wash, I do the treatment, with the deluxe prime and the fast repair, I remove everything. I did an extra treatment with the neck mask. Wow! And yes, because her hair was bad. Oh my god! Yes, it was. You could do all five things. I do. Okay. Uh, depend on the client. I know the hair. Like yes. I'm saying, you know, you depend you on the hair. With everything. Yes. And before rinsing, no, before putting the towel around her um, hair head, I spray deluxe prime and. Even though I explained this, I put the amino, I put the hair protector, and you know. So yes, some hair can hold, some hair cannot. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be like bad. <laughs> anyway, but it yes. doesn't hurt, right? Because it is reconstructor. Yes. So it's not too strong, it's not gonna do no, any damage. No, because it's diluted, it. exactly. Okay. So it's not, right. okay? It's not gonna uh, damage the hair at all. Okay, actually it's gonna help. Especially if it's like a process with bleach. Okay? Um, all right, so then this is a 12 minutes. It's not that expensive for you to kind of like introduce your client, even if you guys, I don't know, are you guys booth renters or? Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Buy in agreement, everybody, and just sold the clients because as you show this, your sales are going to increase. Mm -hmm. 
okay, because people are going to see and see the difference. And so that helps uh, as well for, for the sales, okay? The Lux Prime is a passion. Everybody loves it. It's like a champion of sales everywhere you go. Uh, the hair show in Orlando, every year we are sold out. Um, the purple one as well, uh, if I may, when you're washing the hair as you recently did um, balayage or lightening on the hair, I first put like the number two, the small one, okay? And then I apply the purple and I kind of like emulsify the hair so it doesn't grab because the hair is very porous at that moment. Okay, Air Libre is um, collagen base, which is not gonna dry up the hair and leave that even more porous, damaged hair that we know it happens unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so it gives up to seven, uh, no, yeah, up to five lifts, sorry, five lifts on the freehand balayage technique. And if it's inside the foil, it's gonna give you up to seven. It's a light base, like um, white actually, powder. It smells, well, you guys know, right? Everybody does? Yeah, okay. It smells fantastic, of course, and it doesn't have that strong smell when you are applying on the, on the hair of the clients. And the clients is kind of like, because it comes to the eye and makes tear up and everything. Uh, being with the collagen, so it's gonna treat the hair at the same time that it's lighting up, okay? Uh, do I need to use anything together? Well, I do. I use the eight times powder every time that I do my mixing. Actually, I have like uh, two containers, one with the blank blonde and one with the air libre that I put already there so I don't have to be mixing at the time. I just scoop and go. And but I do mix the eight times powder because the eight times powder is not just to protect the hair on the lighting. It's also to treat the hair. So you're not gonna have that damage that, it happens, unfortunately, you know, and sometimes the kind of wants something that we cannot deliver. So we have to have an extra help. Another thing that can help as well, which extra charge again, it's a pre-treatment pre of the hair. So you're gonna get the cave recovery. You're gonna go to the sink, do the no metal shampoo, apply the wash, rinse, of course, apply the hair recovery, come to the chair and dry the hair and then you start your balayage. And you apply this as well because you're gonna have full protection for that hair that is already damaged but they wanna go lighter. It's already damaged but they want more highlights. You know those. And so it helps a lot to use this as a pre-treatment for the balayage or even, because it's gonna give you extra time for that hair to lose a little bit more color, to lift a little bit more as well, okay? The blank bone is ammonia, low in ammonia. It has a blue-ish um, on the formula to help on the lighting, but it's not, when you check your highlights, it's not gonna show you like that color that it's not the color that you're looking for. So it shows you more close to what it's gonna be when you rinse it out. Um, it's low in ammonia and perfect for any kind of technique as well. If you wanna like, oh, can I mix both? Yes, you can. Okay, uh, there is a lot of us who does that already from, from Trust. Um, behind here you have the explanation of how to mix. But I run a few times about a problem. People that, oh, but I did the mix and it was too runny or was coming out of the foil or any other problems. And so I'll say this to you. Your mix doesn't have to be as this. You do your mix. If you like the better to be like more thick or, or thinner or whatever, you decide on that. It's gonna work either or. Yes, just don't let it dry. To because, dry? Yes, because you know like when it's like dry. Yeah, Please. you can, yeah, no. Then it's a different story. Questions? Well, how many levels will that go? Seven. seven. This goes up to seven okay. on the foil because it's inside the foil that you work. This is more for freehand technique. Okay. So it's five levels 
but it depends if you cover with the foil or the thing. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so it can go higher than five. Okay. Uh, he, no, he makes that. I don't think so. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Sometimes, if the, you know, when you finish. Right. Okay. So, what during quarantine, I did all available classes that were free online because there was like a ton, a ton of classes. Yes, a ton of classes. Everybody was giving classes to help everybody, right? One of the things that I saw somebody doing, which was very interesting, was this. They start foiling, but they don't go here to finish here. They go round, so it finishes together. They you start go on the side, and they go around. Yes, because then this is not going to be the last, and you're not going to have to be waiting or at risk of getting yellowish, not the color that you wanted. Mm -hmm. So they do rounding, mm -hmm. you know. And of course, when it gets here. The heat here is higher than anything, I don't sure. know why. Yes. But also you can like bump it up a little bit of your peroxide. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna get all together. Mm -hmm. Another thing too, you file, you finish filing, you start checking. If the hair is good, you can get that hair and emulsify yes. to the ends. That way you're gonna light up that piece without hurting that piece. Mm -hmm. Okay? Highly, so have you guys used? I have. You have? Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yes? You've seen the results? I noticed, like it? Yeah, I use it with heat now. Before I never used it with heat, but I like using heat. With yes, hair. I do too. My daughter has curly hair, mm -hmm. like curly hair, okay? The coil is very... So I did another keratin on her hair that I was trying, and she's like, Mom, I don't want that one. I like this better. Uh -huh. And this one, I do use heat on her hair as well because it makes, especially here, because she has a cowlick right here. So it makes that cowlick go lower, you know, so it helps a lot. Mm -hmm. The blue one is for a brunette and the gold is for blonde. Yes, exactly. That's the difference. It's acid based. So again, when and you're doing- a smoothing system. Yes, it's gonna reduce up to 80% of the volume of the, the, the hair. It's not like a keratin that is gonna leave your hair lifeless, okay? It's gonna still like have movement. Like for example, I have high leaves on my hair now, so it still have movement, it still have life, you know? And if I don't dry completely or blow dry the hair, I'm gonna have that bozo kind of thing going on because it's red. <laughs> so um, you don't have to, or you can do for a pregnant woman, nursing mom, okay? Um, application. No. Application. You are going to apply quarter inch out, out of the scalp because the hair pulls a little bit, so it's going to be okay. Um, wash two, three times with clarifying shampoo, and then you're going to dry the hair about 80%. You're going to dry the hair about 80%. Really? Yes. The 80% is because it's still some moist to like the product to run better. Um, after you apply, you're gonna shower cap the heat. You can leave the hair up to fine hair, 30 minutes, medium hair, 45, and thick, coarse hair uh, up to an hour. The heat will improve the product on the hair that has curls, natural curls, okay? So you will be helpful. Um, use globes because I did the mistake of not using ones and I was for a week looking like a, a lizard that sticks all over the place. So please do use globes. Okay. And also if you always have a doubt, behind here there is mm -hmm. a little tab that you can open with questions well, and answers. When you use heat on it, do you, because I got nervous and I would only use heat for like half the time, so I had somebody with thicker, coarser hair, and I you can leave for an hour. an hour, but I just did heat for 30 minutes. No, you can leave it. You can leave it. Cool. And, and then, then you rinse it out and it's done? You, you rinse it out, like, Medium up to the hair being rough. You're gonna feel the hair. Of course, at the beginning, you're gonna rinse with the gloves on, but after you see that most of the product is gone and you take your gloves off, you're gonna feel the hair, the hair is gonna feel rough, like the, 
the porosity is like all open, okay? Which is kind of, because it's acid, right? So then you're going to dry the hair with the brush down, okay? Amino, brush down, everything, and then you're gonna flat iron. The flat iron temperature is gonna go- But there's go no product on it except for the amino. Except for the amino, no. Just the amino. And where's the amino? I'll show you. <coughs> and how long does that last? Up to, well, I did mine in December. I did my hair in December, wow. so yeah. It can December. fade the, December. Ten months ago. Uh-huh, yes. It can fade the color, especially red hair, because this, of course, is not natural, and um, it's acid, so it will lift and, okay, it's normal. So I would recommend to do color two, um, five washes after doing the, the, that procedure. Do you guys know Amino? No? Mm -hmm. You do? Okay. So you know the smell and you know it looks oily, but it's not oily. Yeah. So before you dry the hair, you're going to apply the Amino. Okay? Before. Uh, before you dry the hair, oh, yes. okay. after yes. you rinse the product out. Uh -huh. You're going to apply the Amino and then you're going to dry oh, the hair. Yeah. Because this is a heat protection as well. Mm -hmm. Okay? I use this uh, on everybody. Even clients with fine hair, I use that. Of course, I spray from far, but I use it on everybody. Can you put it in your hands and then put it on there? Yes, you can. Okay. Okay. How many times you flat iron? As much as you go, the hair is going to be more smoother and more down. What's the max that you've done? Uh, okay. I never do much, but like, I would say five, six. All right. it, yeah. It's not that much. Okay, and as fa as finer <coughs> layers as you can go, so the heat can be distributed evenly. Like, right. okay. Mm -hmm. Um, high end price range. Well, two fifty, three fifty. A hair like up to the shoulder, I charge. I start at two hundred. Okay. Okay, and as I go from there. The price of the product is not that expensive, but the, the timing and the process and everything. And so it takes you two and a half hours. Yeah, it takes a long time. Probably yes. more than that. Hmm? About, about, yeah. It would, I would say about oh, three right. hours. Because if, hour like, if a person has a hair like mine, it has to be under the dryer. I don't need the dryer, but whoever does, up to an hour, so. You don't need the dryer? I don't use dryer on mine. When I apply the product, With the heat, hair. yes. I don't do the heat, I don't need it. You don't feel like you want to do it? Mm -mm. No, I, I use the heat more for curly hair. Like she was saying, coarse, curly, it's more, the heat will help more. But for a hair like mine, like hers, I, we don't need it. It's, yeah. And you're talking about the keratin treatment. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Questions? So would it be good, like girls I do Brazilians on right now, would it be good to switch them to that or no? Not really the same? I would say for you to always have both. Mm -hmm. um, because for example, you have a Brazilian, you do the blowout, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have the Brazilian blowout scheduled for 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's your first client. And then she got married, she's dating or whatever her life is and she finds out she's pregnant. She cannot have the Brazilian blowout. Right? right? But if you have that, you still can ha have that money. Okay. And you still can like have the client and it's not going to be a problem for her because even though she's expecting, mm -hmm. it's not a problem. Cool. Okay? So I always say have both, whatever they like the best. And for moms or nursing or kids, you can always have that one. Can so I say something? Can I add yes. something to that? Okay, so this is more like a character. Brazilian is not a carriage. Mm -hmm. So Brazilian is going to put like a like a, a shield around each hair shaft. And Brazilian is designed to have like no downtime. So if that's something that the customer needs or you need, that's the one you're probably going to go with. And um, and it's designed to last up to three months. Whereas what she was saying about hers, hers lasted longer, but it's a different it's a different end result. Yeah. And with Brazilian, you can do it the same day of color and it won't affect it as much as this one would. So that's one of the advantages um, to a Brazilian block versus a normal keratin. But like, like she was saying, there's certain times where you need to have yeah. the high lists, you know, and it's going to be better for some people. 
and also if they're if they're sensitive in any way you know the high list is probably going to be the way to go yes so you know you just have to look oh that's a very important yeah. thing that he said and it reminds me again my daughter is my guinea pig poor thing so i was <laughs> bringing her um bringing from brazil a uh, keratin that was very strong <coughs> i would i wouldn't compare to brazilian blowout but i would say it was very strong high in high yes right. yes yes and we were used to do that she was always i was always doing her hair for the past whatever years you know and one day she i was doing it and she starts saying because the hair sucks in the, the product right even though you're applying a quarter inch away and she's like mom my head is burning and i'm like mm. i think th i thought though you know she has her way anyways it's a child oh, how old is she 35. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, I am a grandma. So of uh, two. So, <laughs> she she's like, mom is burning, and I'm like, maybe it's just because I touch with the comb or something like this. So I keep on going, but I was like this much on her nape, and she's like, mom, I cannot hold. I have to wash my hair. Ooh. Then I got scared. We rushed to the bathroom. We put in shampoo conditioner because conditioner wow. is like you know to make stop. it stop, right? Mm -mm, nothing was making that stop oh, and no. I was freaking out because first of all it's my child yeah. right second of all that product was illegally in the United States uh. you don't know what to do now uh -uh. exactly so uh, that was a few years ago I think maybe when I started with trust and I had the samples of the deluxe prime with the hair wet the sample was there I look at it and I'm like it's not gonna hurt I poured the deluxe prime on her head and it stopped it wow. immediately. Immediately. I was oh like, take the door. I was so happy to believe because I just. <laughs> I just glued it on my fingers. I'll spray it on my fingers. Oh. Is it? Do you know how it starts to work? Yeah, yeah it's complicated. Yeah. Anyways. Mm -hmm. But the Lux Prime is amazing. Mm -hmm. Even when I'm doing uh, highlights and sometimes with the 30 and yeah. I get some on my hand, I do that too. Okay. I spray on. It stops. Yeah. Like, you know, it's good. That's like my favorite product. Yeah, I, think yeah, I, I got some bleach on my shoe and I sprayed it on my shoe. And <laughs> I don't have a bleach spot. Wow. Yeah. Clothes. Yeah, it's like, it's like a tie pin. Infusion. Infusion is a, a freeze removal, right? Um, you're going to do the treatment. You can do up, upsell your ticket when you're doing root touch up because you apply the roots and you're going to apply the infusion on the rest of the hair. And the same time that the client is processing the color, is processing infusion. When you finish, the only difference, when you do those blow dries with curls and whatever else, you cannot do when you do this treatment. Because then you have to flat iron to seal the product. Mm -hmm. That's the only difference when you do this, okay? So this is after shampoo? No. You put the color. After you finish putting the root touch up on yeah. your client, you, put, the rest you put this on the ends. Just like if you're applying a color mm -hmm. with a brush, okay? okay? You put this in and it's going to process for the same amount of time on the dirty hair for the same amount of time of your uh, color. Okay. When you rinse at the bowl, it's going to rinse all of them together and then you're going to do the net mat. So, again, color. You did the color, okay? The root touch up is done. Then you're gonna come with the infusion and you're gonna apply on the length of the hair. Apply and let it stay with the color processing. 30 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever minutes you have. Go to the shampoo bowl, rinse all out. There is a trick that I learned on my own hair because everything I use on my hair so I can know the tricks to teach you guys. It can, because it's a vegan wax, so it can kind of like be resistance to remove from the hair. So when you're doing the shampoo, apply the shampoo and leave it like for 30 seconds, less than a minute, soaking in. Just like when you're doing white, you know, that you soak in a little bit, let it less than a minute soaking in with the shampoo and then you rinse it out and everything is gonna be okay. It's not gonna look oily because somebody washed my hair and she didn't do a good job and I saw the hair oily, so after she turns around, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So anyways, 
After you rinse it out, shampoo and everything, you are going to get the neck mask. Neck mask, 20 minutes. And then you, you know that uh, video that Trust has about the hair being so shiny that it looks like a mirror? That's the effect you're gonna have when you do this treatment. When you put in your hand, okay, of course more than this, you're gonna do this. You see, creating that spider web kind of thing. Okay, and then you're gonna do this on the sink and people are gonna think that you are crazy if you keep on doing it. Yeah, you have to do it. You have to, yes. Because this is activating the nanoparticulars uh, on the, the product to emulsify the hair and, and, and hydrate and control porosity and everything. Have okay? you been doing that, Alex? Huh? Have you been doing that? I do it with my hand. I feel like Spider-Man. I know. Like when I go shower <laughs> and I do on my own hair, I'm in the shower like this. <laughs> I didn't do that, though. No. I didn't know that I needed to do that. And I only left it on for like five minutes. I didn't leave it on for well, I was doing five minutes as yeah, well, but when I 20. did 20, I saw a different result. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I, now I emphasize that. But this or no meat. If you don't have time for 20, does five help? It's not going to have the same effect. But it will help. Yeah. It will. So if you just do a little. Yes. Well, that's um, a great product if you're running behind. Yes. You can always say, I think your hair needs conditioning. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's exactly when right. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. And no heat. If you have a client that walks through the door and she wants a blow dry and she doesn't want to like, um, she never do a treatment, but she always want to have a blow dry and you're running behind. Right. You use this. It's your friend on timing. <laughs> it helps you a lot. Oh, the infusion. No. Yes. No, you do both because oh, then you, yes. with the both together, you can get 50 minutes. So you can finish whatever oh. you're doing and gain time over there. 50 or 15? 50. Because 30 minutes, 20 minutes. You can't do that. Yeah. Well, I know. I never take it. Can you well, just use a net mask? Of course. Mm -hmm. As a conditioning? Of mm -hmm. course. Okay. Yes. I'm just saying that these two are used that together. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And if you're going to use the treatment for that feeling of the hair looking like a glass, you have to leave 20 minutes and flat iron the hair after dry. Okay, um, recovery. As a pre-treatment, like I said, mm -hmm. As a reconstructive blow dry, you can put like a cutter or a little bit more on the hair, depending on the amount of the hair, apply the hair and do the blow dry. The blow dry is gonna last a little bit more, of course, and it's gonna be treating because this is pure keratin inside, okay? It's vegan as well. Oh, let me uh, say this. No uh, products from Trust are tested on animals. So if anybody asks, you guys have the answer, okay? Um, as a treatment for reconstruction, you're going to need this. My box there is almost falling off the thing. This and this. Oh, do I need to buy that flat iron? Unfortunately for you, yes. Good for Rick. <laughs> yes, you do. Why? Because we have this piece over here. You have that, right? Yeah, she said it. No, yeah. she said it. So this little piece over here, you're going to open over here and you're gonna put the drops. It doesn't have any smell, it doesn't have any feeling. It's just like water, but there are something inside here. You're gonna put it in, turn the heat on and this, the um, vapor over here. And you're going to flat iron the hair finer layers. Oh, what's the temperature? If the hair needs reconstruction, that hair is damaged, fragile. If the hair is fragile, you have to start with lower temperature and go up. Because as you use, you're going to see the hair changing on your hand. And it's not going to burn the hair. Don't worry about it. Another thing, tell your client that you're going to do that and with the hair wet and for them not to get scared, because they do. Because when they is, um, hear that shh, <laughs> they're gonna like jump from the chair, okay? So do tell them that they're gonna hear something, but they don't have anything to worry. As you do that, you're gonna see the hair here, alive on your hand, changing the structure of the hair. Do y'all like to do them in wet, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. You're gonna shampoo, 
you're going to apply the K recovery. A good amount you have to kind of like, that is when you're gonna apply a good amount of that. I would say two ounces maybe around. It depends how much hair the person has. This goes inside the flat iron, and yes, you're gonna do on a wet hair, okay? And you're going to see the difference right away. That is amazing. And that lasts how many shampoos? That is a reconstruction, so the hair is not gonna go back to that. The hair is creating mass again, okay? If the hair is extremely like melting, you know, when they come to you with the melting hair, okay. You can mix the eight times powder and the neck mask. Apply on the hair. Tell your client the hair is gonna get hard because it's a lot of protein, but it's not gonna do more damage than what it is already, all right? Apply that on the hair. When you wash, don't dry, don't do anything. Let the person go home with the hair wet. They will feel the hair hard. Don't do that at home. <laughs> I did it, and I was for over a month with my hair looking dull. And I don't need reconstruction, but it, like I said, I try everything and I learned the wrong way. Anyways, so this is going to create mass on the hair for that hair that is falling apart. All right? That is a, another of, this is Lucas' recipe. Well, I just learned something new today. What about that? Never heard that. How long That's Lucas' take? recipe because I said sorry okay. because I sent him a picture of a client that came to me mm -hmm. and she went somewhere and they bleached her hair for a whole day. Oh my god! And it was black. Oh my god! It was falling apart. Jesus. And a year now, I didn't cut her hair. I reconstruct her hair. Her hair. But after I start the reconstruction, I spoke with Lucas and he told me about this, so I didn't know before. Well, why would you use that versus the deep fluid reconstruction? It's a different, the deep fluid is when you're doing bleach uh -huh. and you see the hair gave you a little coil there. Yeah. You put that in and leave it until you finish all the bleaching and everything. When you wash, it's gonna be okay. If you see the that coil um, rubber thing going on at the sink, mm -hmm. put it in, leave it for 20 minutes, you're gonna see the hair reconst reconstruction immediately there because it's still salvation. It's a different process, different needs. Uh, we have the deep reconstruction, like Rick mentioned and I was saying, it's in the sink. I was doing a friend of mine a hair, and when I was removing the foil to emulsify the, red, the hair to get the resinous on, on the ends, I saw a little going on right here, you know? I put the deep reconstruction until the rest of the hair was ready. When it was, I washed, it didn't break, it didn't do anything, the hair is there, it, it, it does work, okay? Do you have the deep reconstruction now in your No, body? I don't. Okay, it's over there. Yeah, I, I don't, um, I it's a have spray. a right. It's a spray, it's a bottle like this size, right? Yes, it's about $50. So, it, you know, it is, it is designed for your, you know, your people that is like drastic damage. Yes. But it's a lifesaver. Oh yes, I was in Boca um, giving a class, um, I think it was the end of last year, and it was right after the deep reconstruction came out and I bought one for myself at the salon. And I stopped at a place at the salon with a sales rep and I saw somebody, a guy, with the hair white and falling off. Because I you go with the hair, anyway, I'm like, just a second. I went to my car, I got it, I came in, I put on his hair, I waited 20 minutes, and he was like, can I buy that? And said, no, that's mine. But we're gonna have for sale soon, and he's like, okay, Which one? when the container is out of the dust, I am gonna help like getting out so I can get mine. So it is really good, like really. What's the name of that one that you just uh, <laughs> That the instant repair. That's what she just absolutely loves. I love that. Yeah? Yes. The amino, we already talked about it. <laughs> it smells fantastic. The clients, when you spray on them and they feel the smell, they right away want to buy. Yes, do retail that. What is it, instant repair? Do retail, no, this is the amino. Uh, do retail that because it's fantastic for the clients that love to do curling or flat ironing the hair. So it's going to be less work for you, okay? 
less traumatizing work for you? You no. want your client to have the best hair day ever, always, mm -hmm. all day, you know? So, and they abuse their hair at home on the flat iron, because especially here, you always see the frying, over here is okay, over here is frying. So, why not? And the key with using that, make sure your client, like if they use it at home, make sure they use heat with it. Because if you yes. don't, then it could be, it's not broken down like it should be, mm -hmm. so it could, you know, come off as being too heavy. Mm -hmm. So yes. make sure you do that. Yeah. Exactly. Blow dry or flat iron, yes, because it will make what Rick is saying, exactly. So, I cannot emphasize enough, because I use on my hair all the time. I use on all my kinds, even with fine hair. I have uh, this kind that I was doing the hair that came a little weird on the side. She was using whatever in Brazil, and um, I started taking care of her hair now because she moved here, and she I, she's using infusion, net mask, and deluxe prime, and amino and hair protector. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Yes, of course, alternating. But she says my hair is thicker mm -hmm. than it was before, and she has her legs. A lot of highlights. What all does she do? <laughs> lots, of lots of things. Okay, well, my infusion shampoo. So infusion shampoo. Okay. Deluxe okay. Prime. You know, the mm -hmm. white one? Okay. Um, night mask. Thank you. Uh, hair protector. Hair protector. And then, actually, this applies first and then this. Okay? okay. This is after shower. Okay? She's using, and she's saying that her hair improved a lot. She moved here in March. Her hair looks a lot different. Mm -hmm. A lot different. Okay? So, I mean, I cannot say enough. Hair protector is another of my favorites because I use all the time on my hair. Um, it does have 80% of heat protection as well. It's a leave-in conditioner. It smells fantastic. So you don't have to use heat with that? No, so this I always sell my clients as a retail because, you know, it's very good for them to have at home. I don't think I have the volumizer here. No. I used that this morning, the volumizer. That's you right. did? Okay. Yeah, the volumizer, I don't have it here, but it's a bottle mm -hmm. like this one. Mm -hmm. It needs heat mm -hmm. to make the volume, but with the difference that the hair is not going to be hard yeah. like red tint yeah yes exactly yeah. which is always i hate using any volumizer before because of that reason i don't like the hair that looks like you have a helmet you know please <laughs> anyways so um brush for those kinds that comes every week to do um a blow dry this is very good to use before blow dry their hair it, the smell is brush brush yes um it has collagen and amino acids on it. It's not brush keratin, that's a different one. It's just brush thermal tipic keratin, yes. Oh, they Is changed the, the yes, they changed the, the, okay. the bottle, yes. Anyways, brush for weekly blow dry, you know, or you can retail what this. Huh? What is that for? Uh, weekly blow, blow dry, that the client has that hair that she needs to blow dry every week for work or whatever she mm -hmm. does. For weekly blow dry, this is perfect for her at home. If she comes to the salon, of course, try to upsell the K recovery so you can give a treatment and bump it up your ticket. Yeah. So that's like the take home for the K recovery. Yes. Okay. Did you so say they only use it out? out? Week? No, this okay. week. No. I have the difference no. now. All no. Right. A lighter version of the amino is a day by day, but do not make a mix of one and another. This one is not a heat protection. It's just to untangle the hair okay day day? yeah yes so what's that one called this one day by day day by day yeah it's lighter on the hair so those that has hair that needs untang uh, extra untangling after washing that it's going to be good but it's not heat protection is it good like to use on like dry hair that to I would say yes, okay. because it's a daily protection. The fluid fix is like when you're doing curls, so it can last longer right. without leaving the hair hard or stiff as well. That's the fluid fix, is that? Yes. And then we have, for curly hair, we have 
a new product that came out. Um, can, you, can you back up the fluid fix for a chrome iron or just curling diffusing? Yes, no, curling iron. Chrome iron. Yes. So um, it'll hold a curl better. Yes, without leaving that, you know, like yeah, a hairspray or something. Yes. Hmm. Uh, we have the curly twist. That's the name. Yeah, curly yeah. twist. So people who has curly hair, like for example, hard that has natural I curls. Use that. You did? Yeah, yeah. I used I use the shampoo and conditioner, and I have the light. Uh huh. But I think I need the fix for more hold. Okay, so a client of mine, she mm -hmm. makes both. Okay. And she likes that yeah. because each one has one different need. Yeah. And she said that she loved it using both together. My hair's been a lot, I mean, it's not right now because I brushed it out, but it's been a lot more defined with the curly light. But I like, realized kind of like within like the day, like as it turns night, like it just kind of falls out. Uh huh. So I want to do So that. yeah, try to, uh, to use both. Yeah. And see how it's going to go. Or use, use both and use independent so you can see what's mm -hmm. going to work best. Oh, it's just the, a, some the of curly the, twist. The scale that tells exactly. You, and those don't. So those are uh, curly. Yes. Uh -huh. I, like uh, I like how it has that. I do too. So the curly twist is very interesting because you're gonna wash the hair and then you're gonna apply little by little on the hair, coil the hair, and let it hang until you finish on the top. So you start from bottom to top. Then you go with the diffuser, drying that hair and giving more like uh, definition on the curls. It looks fantastic for the people that has curly hair and like that. It looks so gorgeous. Do you have to diffuse it? Well, I think the diffuser just dried them in. Mm -hmm. So just that some. Yes, you know. So should that be on retail? The curly twist? Yeah. No, that's oh. for salon. Okay, so the curly twist is for natural and the, and the fluid fix is for chroma. Yes. Okay. Okay. So with the other two curly products, would you recommend diffusing it or just kind of like combing it through the hair and scrunching just it? Just letting it scrunch, yes. Yeah. Would mm -hmm. you scrunch it into the hair or would you like... No, you're going to apply and then you scrunch. Okay. Yes, because then you can redo the, the, the curls, okay? That's how it works better, uh, I think, for curly hair, right? Yeah. The freeze on the curly hair is a natural thing that comes with it, mm -hmm. right? So if you want to do the high lace, for example, you can do the high lace and not flat iron too much, just okay. once or twice. Yeah. But I'll do a piece first mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. before I go crazy, Yeah. okay? All right, so the other thing that I want to talk to you guys that I told the ladies when I arrived, I'm looking for a picture of my daughter, sorry. So I did a treatment on my hair yesterday and um, it's the one, the scrub therapy. Uh, when we talk about uh, healthy hair, we never think about oily hair equals normal hair, scalp or hair, right? We always think that oily hair needs a different thing than our do. And we are mistaken about that because um, when you have oil in the hair, like you work out, you wash the hair, it's like yucky. Or you go to the sun, same thing, right? If you take like three days to wash your hair, it's gonna be disgusting, right? Yes. So what do you do? Oh, here, look at my daughter's hair. So this is before. Okay. This is after. Wow. So about the scrub therapy. Um, I did yesterday on my hair. I waited about three days to wash my, well, I don't wash my hair often because the red color, otherwise it's gonna fade too much. And it's a lot of hair to the care of. So <laughs> I did yesterday, a, a trust sent me um, a kind of sonogram machine for hair which is pretty cool. <laughs> it is, it's crazy. Like, you know, you see things like, Ooh. Anyways, yes. Is that uh -huh. something that we're gonna be <laughs> Do we wanna it? see things? Um, I don't know. You get your scalps, you scalps and you're deciding which to use. Yes. Because mm -hmm. I was gonna purchase that from someone else, but you guys have that Trust company. has it. Rick, you have to ask Lucas about the, the, the machine yes. for the, the, the scalp. Do not get disgusted. 
I let my hair get um, dirtier and oilier, <laughs> whatever, or uh, on purpose because I needed to do a video or I wanted to do it like that. So that's why you guys are going to see this. I am not that kind of person. <laughs> Okay, here is the my hair bulb, like uh -huh. where the, the follicle of the hair. So is this like a microscopic? Yes, and this is the oily kind of oh, okay. thing going on around the hair. Okay. And now I'm going to show you after I wash. And this is a clean hair. Okay. You see the clean yes. follicle? Yes. Okay. okay. And you use what shampoo? The scrub therapy. Yeah, but you said you shampooed afterwards. What did you With the miracle, the festival. Yes. yes. About the sulfate. Every shampoo has sulfate. Thank you for talking about that. Okay. that Every shampoo. It doesn't matter who does that. The difference for retail, for the outsiders, for whoever doesn't work in the industry or whatever else we want to use, is this. There are high quality sulfate, low quality sulfate, okay? So let's say you go to buy a coach bag and you buy a whatever bag, okay? The, the brand, the, the higher is better. Yes. So you're saying so, all shampoos have sulfate? So even if they advertise sulfate free? free? That is a way they did in order to up the price. Of the higher quality sulfates. They don't say it has sulfate. They just say it's sulfate free. But it they, is a high quality sulfate. Yes. Because it's detergent. As Otherwise it's not going to lather. What if the non-lather? What about the non-lather shampoo? They do lather, even if it's just a little. They no, do. The no shampoo ones. They're the no. creamy ones that are cleansing. That oh, don't like the lather. cleansing conditioner. Oh, because that's a cleansing. It's a different story. Okay. That it's a different story. I'm just so, asking if it advertises the sulfate free. They it still has sulfate, sulfate. High quality sulfate. They change the name just like okay. When, you know when mm -hmm. the uh, people start Delighted. selling uh, keratin from all the high keratin. Oh, from all the high free. <laughs> <and> <laughs> see the formaldehyde word but there was a word there that it's the same as a formaldehyde mm -hmm. in a different way yes mm -hmm. so same thing for sulfate mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. high quality so sulfate low quality sulfate, sulfate. So trust right. use the high quality sulfate yes. that's why okay. it doesn't affect i understand okay so every single shampoo has sulfate, right. my friends yes. i'm mm -hmm. so sorry to disappoint it's you guys find the sander <laughs> or a coarse sander a sander you know like when you Yes, exactly. Yes, a hard sulfate or a gentle sulfate. Exactly. It's so been a marketing pitch mm -hmm. for in, in America for years. There's a sun that's less strength. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm well, sorry, it makes sense, it doesn't it? Because I've always equated sulfates with detergent. It's what clean. Yeah, because if you so, if you market yeah, okay, okay if the is. marketing was done what like this. This shampoo has high quality sulfate, but this shampoo has the lower quality for a better price. Who are you going to buy? Sure. But, you know, people. I wish they would just say that. Do you remember, well, listen, do you remember years ago when uh, sulfate free first came on the market and we introduced it to you guys and it didn't lather? Mm -hmm. right. What happened? Nobody liked Nobody it. Nobody liked it. They were like, no way do we want it. And then what did they do? Now they started coming out with right. sulfate free that started yeah. lathering and y'all are like eating it up. Oh my gosh, we got to do this. We can't use anything with sulfates because now we have sulfate free. And I that's never said that. <laughs> no, but that's <laughs> not, it's not clean enough. It's all clean. I need to go there. I need to go there. Anyway, so do what? not mistake that. Right. This what? is not shampoo. It's this is a scrub. It's oh. a different story. Oh, it's not shampoo. Okay? So, how do you apply? You're going to just like slice. It's kind of like a little bit of gritty on there. Yeah, it's like it's it's yes. And it has um, some mento or mm. whatever. Eucalyptus. Yes. Like so, dandruff. Uh, people like black color people because they uh, don't wash their hair as often because they can't, right? It's, it's different hair. It's a good way of treating their scalp awesome. as well. Uh, cool. People who have psoriasis, nice. okay, mm -hmm. because psoriasis, whoever has That's scalp, so psoriasis mm -hmm. on scalp, mm -hmm. itches and flakes like nothing in the world. Mm -hmm. I was doing a guy one time and he was so embarrassed because it was falling like, Aww. ugh. 
Anyways, <laughs> is that is that's not contagious? Like no, your, no. That scares me when I no. see like no. scalp issues and that. Psoriasis is, is emotional. I had it's psoriasis emotional. when my yes, my oldest grandson when uh, he was born, he had two heart stops on the same day. We were in the hospital for 25 days. Wow. And I got it's kind of like psoriasis. Like a I got shingles, but you get like an immune. Yeah, yes. Yeah, immune. So immune. don't worry about it. It's response. not contagious. Okay, I at just all. didn't know that. No, at all. And that's, that stuff feels like more like a microdermabrasion, like stuff that you use to Crazy, cleanse your yeah. face. Yeah. Same thing, same feeling on your on your head. Yes. It's got all these and little then, uh, pebbles or whatever. You're doing it to yourself. Yes. Like well, practice. yes, but when you do it as a salon, also you can charge oh, for that. Like so, and then I was doing the video like yesterday, and I was like, so guys, this cool. is so good. <laughs> 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 Anyways, yes. Uh, I did this. Once a week? Uh, depend. If the person <laughs> has oily hair, yes, she can do once a week. If she has normal hair like me, uh, I did yesterday because I want to do the video and that's it. Okay, I did for uh, Portuguese people the uh, Facebook thing. Oh. Um, so <laughs> uh, what else? Um, I wash with the fast repair that I have at home. Um, I did the treatment. I blow dry my hair and you feel that freshness going on. You know, like <laughs> it's so cool. And the hair goes like. It makes a difference because you're cleaning the scalp, just like when you do a scrub. Sure. You're renewing the cells here, so here the same thing happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you don't have to be aggressive. Cells, just so you're like thinning hair, guys. Right? Yeah. What's your favorite like daily shampoo? Like what's like? Because I feel like I get that a lot. Like what's like? Oh, what kind of shampoo should I get? Like okay. what, you know, just for like every day. I have in my shower three yeah, because same. I don't like to wash okay. with the same all the time. I have the fast repair. I have the summer because I love the smell of that thing. Yeah. And I have the infusion. So those are my oh. three favorites. Yeah. And in doubt of which shampoo is going to be beneficial for that person, infusion. Yeah, yeah but Fast Repair is not a retail. No. Uh, miracle. So, so she's talking about what? Miracle. She can yeah. sell the miracle, yeah. yes. Like, uh, if you are in doubt which shampoo to recommend anybody, infusion because it's vegan, doesn't have any colorants in the formula because it's clear. So, so fake free. And I'm going to give everybody <laughs> samples of the infusion today. Oh, oh good. you use that? Yes. Yes. I use that on my extension. Yeah. It, like before I got in the salt water in it, like my extension felt so soft after Thank I got out of water. Really. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. It helps a lot. I was going to talk about okay. that. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Are you giving us free yeah. time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, it doesn't yeah, seem yeah. right. Does it? <laughs> it doesn't seem right. In a book, he makes it so very clear. So the summer, <laughs> as we have the deluxe prime, every year, as we have the deluxe prime for our using the salon, and also to retail, be sure to have this. You guys are close to the beach, yeah. So be sure to have this, okay? Yeah. Because okay, one problem that I see a lot of blonde people <laughs> having is this. They want to have the blonde, but then they go to the beach or to the pool and the hair comes destroyed yeah. or dry or yeah. damaged, whatever. So, recommendation number one, before getting into the water, please mm -hmm. get your hair under the sink mm -hmm. and get the hair wet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, why? Because, and this goes for us too, mm -hmm. br brunettes, because when you put your head mm -hmm. in salt water or chlorine water, without having the hair wet, what's going to happen? It's going to so soak in mm -hmm. yeah. all the yep. caca that is there, yeah, you know? <laughs> everything that is there. <laughs> That's a recommendation number one for what, me. What do you have What is it? That's the, the Lex Prime Summer. Summer. Yes. Like and then, I after you get the hair wet, I you summer up. Oh, so you know what it is. So anyway, here. Then, then you put the Deluxe Prime Summer, like, like spray, comb it so you can get like all over the place. And then you can go yeah. to the sun, it's not going to damage your hair. You can go to the water, everything is fine. And they can carry on the back for the beach as well or the pool. And after they leave the water, rinse. Oh, but I'm going to have to carry a gallon, gallon of water. Well, honey, yes and no. Yes, if you want to have a healthy hair. Or no, if you want me to charge $300 to treat, that's fine. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that, right? <laughs> So this I didn't even get my hair wet before I put that on it. I just drenched it in that stuff, and it still felt so good. But because I didn't have any water, I was on a bachelorette party. All we had was beer. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> <it's fine. laughs> that's fine. So I just drenched it. We in that got stuff. it. We got it, girl. <laughs> Just use the heck out of that stuff. Right? <laughs> you should drench your whole body your whole with it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? <laughs> and I noticed that after I start using this, um, because like I said, my grandkids, when they come to my house, they go to the pool a lot. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I don't because look at this. Thing. Anyway, so uh, it helps my hair not to fade so much. Mm -hmm. It helps a lot. Actually, all trust products, it helps my hair not to fade as much as it was before. Mm -hmm. So that is the main thing about trust. It delivers exactly what it promises in all products. It's not gonna let you hanging like, uh, you know? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And it really, really helps. Uh, for pictures, whenever you guys like to do the pictures for Instagram, because you look like nowadays we're gonna have to add uh, photo photography for cosmetology school, mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah, I know. So this is what everybody's using for I saw a video of them using it. Like, it's like they just crawled the hair and he was exactly. like feathering it into the hair. It looks so good. I think I saved it. Because then it looks like that glamorous hair, like if they're going to have that hair every day. But I want to see the video. Yeah, I think I saved it. I also saw a video the other day that they were doing like a color melt. And you know, sometimes you get nervous that it's going to like get on the other hairs. Um, they sprayed the Deluxe Prime right along yes. the line of where they stopped. Yes. The, Root would touch up and faded it down, and it was beautiful. Really? Yes, it just, yes because yeah. it protects the hair. Yeah. Uh, Another yeah. thing also that you can do instead of starting on the root melt and then going to the top. Are all these videos on the Trust website? Yeah, there's like yes. a there thousand a lot, Trust yes. <laughs> if, you, if you go on YouTube, you can find a thousand of them. Uh, right. On YouTube, go to Trust Professional, make sure you see the US. It'll be in English. They have two YouTube yes, channels. Yes, yes. One is in because Spanish. there's a lot of in Portuguese yeah. okay. as well. Okay. Yes. So also like you do like the yeah toning first, and then you go to the root melt. Yeah. Because then when you get the between here, it it, it protects a, you know the the lighter parts. Yes. There is a ton of videos, and I'm telling you, like over quarantine, I did so many cutting classes. Um, balayage and everything was everything free and I was like hey I am liking this thing now for a while yeah then I hate it again okay questions a lot of the trust Instagrams are in a different language though there is yeah. a tr trust <laughs> professional there's a hit train or do train yeah. yeah no but there is trust professional trust professional with the white um, yeah, one. bubble uh -huh. um, it's in <laughs> English trust hair is in Portuguese can you explain that little bottle a little bit more? This one? Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's a volumizer. For example, those clients that are with thinning hair, yeah. okay, you can put this. And Is it like the white C lifted the root? It mm -hmm. does. Okay. okay, and it's going to look like more fuller. Okay. It doesn't have a collar though, okay? What about no, using it on your root to get like volume in your root? It doesn't have a collar. Okay. Is it a powder? What is it? Um, it's a powder. The powder? It's a powder, yes. Video. So, so cool it's, it will, for those kinds of thinning hair, mm -hmm. that will help to make fuller, yeah. okay? For balayage pictures, what they do is like they curl, they make the hair nice, and then they come with this because it makes fuller and more mm -hmm. photographic, whatever. How is the video? I just have to find it. I just, like, there was another day, I had a huge argument <laughs> on Instagram. Oh shoot. <laughs> Come on! Like, there was somebody saying, I'm sorry, Rick, if you want to stop that. <laughs> there was somebody saying, does salons nowadays look on your Instagram before hiring you? Really? Like, how many times do you have the assistant doing the job and you're just like running yeah. around? Yeah. It's not fair. Yeah. Or you forget to take that before picture. Oh, uh, you get there after and you're like, guilty! Then I, so and bad. then you say, do you have a picture of yourself? And it's their face. You can't do oh, that. Oh, I'm guilty of that all the time. Yeah, it's not as dramatic. The body part is just like. It's too much. No, you 
the little ones yeah, that you take at home. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to apply the hair. The roots, I usually put it on my hand, go like this, especially on the fingers, right? And then I go around. And then you don't have that stiff hair. It's like when I go dry, it's going to look more natural, more loose, you know? So, yeah, it's very good because now it has the big bottle. You don't have to use the smaller one. Yes. Um, also, they have. Uh, they came with the protein. Protein is amazing to mix with the three steps of the fast repair for that hair that needs a little extra care. Okay. The shampoos for retail. Easy, breezy to identify what to recommend. Like I mentioned before, if you are in doubt, infusion. Okay. Doubt, infusion. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we have shampoos for different needs. So, ultra hydration, miracle, miracle summer, blonde therapy, uh, perfect infusion, uh, equilibrium, and I think that's pretty much all. Most of them, like the most cells, uh, one. So, over here, easy. You're in doubt. You don't know exactly what the hair needs. It's reading. It, it's right here. So it doesn't make confusing for you guys. It's easy to identify, all right? The mask, you can have the mask. Perfect has its, its own mask. Miracle has its own mask. Blonde. Mm -hmm. And then there is a specific. A specific you can use for all types of hair, okay? The perfect shampoo has hyaluronic acid. So for finer hair, it's better. Okay, because the hyaluronic acts up, hyaluronic acid is going to kind of like swallow a little bit of the cuticle of the hair. So it works different. What about the really oily hair? Equilibrium, okay. because it's going to take care of here and hydrate the ends, okay? okay? Or therapy. But again, like I was telling her, alternation of shampoos. Yeah. Don't tell your client to always use the same. Yeah. Oh, I started using that one, but then my hair, it went back to be like, and I'm like, of course, you're using the same. Your, your hair is like your body. If you take Tylenol for a headache every single day of your life, mm -hmm. in a year, it's not gonna work anymore. Why? Yeah. You got used to it. So yeah. alternation of shampoos. <laughs> Tell us your worst story then. We wanna hear it. Ooh. My Rapunzel. Uh, Rapunzel? Uh, uh, yes. I have a Rapunzel. Long blonde hair. No. Oh. Black. Black hair. Black hair. She, mm -hmm. she has, a, 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 her hair is like a security blanket for her for whatever reason. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Like people that like that. 80s <laughs> mohawk, whatever, right? So when I met her, her hair was completely destroyed, like the color dark here and goes like fading to mm -hmm. an orange, wash, whatever. And I told her that we need to cut like this much of her hair. And she, exactly, she was like, so she was standing in front of the mirror and I put my hand where I wanted to cut and she's like, so the hair is like gonna come up and it was gonna be less. And I look at her because I have a very big problem. I have a big mouth. So, <laughs> so I said to her, okay, so you're gonna spend because to color all your hair is gonna be a lot of money. Sure. And you're gonna spend like $400 to color this, to take care of it. And to cut this much, it's not gonna be enough. You know? So, I gained her that day because she said, okay, I'm gonna trust you. And I cut that much, her hair was literally here. I cut up to here. And she was like, <gasps> oh goodness. <laughs> it doesn't stop there. So I'm like, okay, we can do this. And it was a Mother's Day weekend. I was gonna go to Miami to see my daughter spend the weekend there and I finished her hair, she was okay, she was measuring the hair, oh. mm -hmm. you know, I'm like, okay, are you okay? She's like, and I'm like, okay, I got her number, uh -huh. because I was working in a salon, oh. so, you know, the next day before I left mm -hmm. to Miami, mm -hmm. I called her, and I'm like, are we doing okay? Is the hair okay? She's like, thank you, yes. She comes, out. she drives like about an hour to see me but she comes to see me. 
Then, recent, she came again. And she wants to have layers. Oh. oh. <laughs> Imagine someone who has a hair up to here. Yes. We and want layers. layers. You have to put a stool to reach the top. No, honey, that is not a problem. That's so, when you cut too much. She, she's, she's used to her hair being slick yes. and no ends, and she's not going to like it. And when you cut a hair that it has that, like, cut a bang, yeah, like it's going to like, slick. right? Look different. So, I am doing the haircut, and then when she looked at the floor and she saw a piece Jeez, of like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This one saved lives, ours, you know? I had a client that on the salon, the last salon that I work at, she came and I, as always, I'm a bubble. You know, I laugh all the time with my clients. I talk about everything. Mm -hmm. I don't have any restrictions whatsoever. Uh, I was washing her hair at the sink and we were laughing. And so the nail girl, can you guys please shut up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. She left that day, she was very nice, she didn't say anything, and she never came back. When I opened my studio, I sent a message to all my clients that I had the numbers and everything, asking if um, they would like to continue with me, I was going to be at the studio, and you know how the story goes. So she calls me, Emma, you're going to kill me, and I'm like, I'm already feeling it. She went somewhere else. She has very baby fine hair, mm. like very fine hair. Mm -hmm. she, the, she's highlighted blonde. And whoever was doing her hair, whatever she went, they did highlights and formaldehyde keratin on the same day. The hair was... The fine hair. Right. Like the not the perm every two months. Was falling off. It was a disaster. So she took one of these at home and once a week, regular, okay? With the shampoo, treatment, once a week. How long? Five minutes. Depending the amount of the hair, they're gonna use more than one? Yes, of course, but it saves lives. It's pure concentration of keratin for the clients to do at home for that extremely damaged hair problematic. So, and it's not even the most expensive ones. It has like 21 bucks. I can't exactly. It's so cheap. Exactly. I have like triple checked it. <laughs> so I'm like, I feel like that should yeah, be Yeah, because a lot. actually when you're doing the salon, mm -hmm. at the beginning, when I started with Trust in 2016, we would sell $10 each vial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes. That's what I expected. Uh-huh. So I'm like, do I take these out of the box? Like, right. 21 bucks for the whole box. Yeah, but so, good. yeah, you can, this one, you know, yeah. you can go up. That should be flying off the shelf mm -hmm. then. I but people one. don't know how good it is. Yeah. That's one of the reasons, you know. Those girls that come here and has a problem on the hair and has a hair that it's falling off, they don't know the reason for, okay, do recommend this. Yeah. Or if they went somewhere and did the cacking. Caca. <laughs> Caca. <laughs> so recommend this. This is very good. And it's like a very good price. Even if you sell for 30 bucks, it's not even 10 each one, mm -hmm. you know, and it really, really, really helps the hair. Uh, blonde should always use a regular shampoo before washing their hair because when you wash the first wash, you always keep longer, right? So they should wash with a regular shampoo first and then the blonde shampoo not to have the problem of the smurfs, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, it's less than a minute in the hair. Blonde shampoo, it's amazing because our shampoo, although it has the pigment, it, it's not like that heavy pigment that is gonna leave your hand like purple. <laughs> it happens with another brand. Anyways, so yeah, I love that one. And the conditioner is very, um, usually blonde hair is fine, right? Or not, uh, it's not always like so thick. It's yeah. more on the finer hair, right? Thank you, Carmen. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So, um, the conditioner is not too heavy, so it's very good. And the mask as well, once a week, because it has a lot of, a, a little bit more pigment to remove the um, yellowish redness. And the difference between the uh, hyd ultra hydration and ultra hydration plus? Ultra hydration, 
good, perfect. Because then it's just because somebody who dries the hair too much or flat iron too much or something and doesn't use the products right. Education for the clients are key always, especially about what you use at home. Ultra hydration plus. When you say the plus, it's always something extra. If yeah. needs that extra, they need treatment in the salon better than the shampoo at home. That's my point of view. Because if you need that plus, something is happening that we don't. So yes, but also like, you know, understand why they want that plus. When they're looking at infusion, miracle, and say perfect, when would you use each one of those? Infusion you can recommend to anybody. Just anybody. Just anybody, because it's vegan, doesn't have any colorants on uh, the formula, it's clear. So if in doubt, go to infusion. Uh, perfect uh, for finer hair. Although you can use in all types of hair, finer hair. Because uh, it has the hyaluronic acid, which is going to help the hair to have a, a little extra volume going on. The Miracle, I think people go to the Miracle more often because of the fast repair, because the, the right. look alike, mm -hmm. right? But the Miracle, it, it's for all types of hair too, and it's, I, it's my favorite, one of it, you know? So you can use for all kinds of hair. How about the new basic shampoo for back bar? I'm gonna give the same answer that Lucas gave me when I asked him the, the same question. It's basic. <laughs> it's good for the back bar because it's a gallon, uh -huh. okay? Because, for example, since I start, I open my studio, I only use trust, nothing else. My back bar shampoos are the fast repair. Like I mentioned to you guys at the beginning, I don't change shampoos, I don't put any brands of shampoos, it's basic, yes, but with trust quality, mm -hmm. which is huge, as we know. When he has the trust name on it, you can just go ahead and have it right. and recommend it. Mm -hmm. Trust has, on my opinion again, the best line of products we have in the market. Trust has everything that works good. Mm -hmm. So the night spa is a lighter version of the infusion. Okay. okay. Um, me, I would never sleep with anything on my hair. I do all the time. You do? Why I like it. Yeah. I can't. I, it bothers me. Well, but that's put, preference. I put mine in a ponytail and sleep with stuff. And all the I can't. Anyways, but that's preference, right? Yes. So, uh, the night spa, you're going to apply it at night, in the morning you're going to wash your hair, and you don't, not, you don't have to do the, the net mask. You know, and then you're gonna go on your day, and it works. Okay. We have one of our educators, Emma Lima, your favorite. Uh, no, you're my favorite now. <laughs> <laughs> she does videos all the time in English. I think if you guys go on her Instagram, Hair by Lima, it's uh, Anna Lima. She does a lot of education on balayage as well, and she does the night spa all the time. My daughter is crazy about my hair. My daughter loves it. She buys like every time she get because she has long hair, as you see. Uh, every time she buys, she buys like four or five. So thank you for having me. Thank it was you nice having you. Thank you, thank you for nice spending you. the morning. Yes, the morning with me Very here. Nice. Very thank nice. You. Okay. Very and if you guys afternoon. need anything, uh, questions, doubts, whatever, you have my number. Thank please okay. feel free to. Thank you, Rich, for thank you. You're welcome. Yes, thank you.